Hello guys, today we are going to learn uh, more about the echo command and the read command. So let's start by creating a back, uh, by creating a script. I'm going to call it hello.sh and then I'm going to open the script in BI. I'm going to start by entering the, uh, the shabang followed by the uh, path to the interpreter. And um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to echo hello world to the screen. I'm going to place an end comment somewhere down here then I'm going to save the file next I'm going to give it executable permission if I can type correctly okay and now I'm ready to execute the file so I got the uh, string hello world it out to to the terminal. Uh, it is a good practice when using the echo command, and uh, you want to output a string lit literals to screen uh, to place the string within uh, double quotations. Um, but every time, okay. So what if I wanted to um, enter? the string I can start typing if I wanted to enter the string um, this shirt cost me 10 bucks close quotation mark press escape save it and execute it so as you can see now I got this this short, uh, I wanted to say shirt, but uh, I guess I moved from a uh, shirt to a short. Uh, this short cost me zero bucks. That's that was not what I intended to do. I meant to say uh, ten bucks, um, but if you notice, I placed a special character, a dollar sign, right just right before the number ten. And uh, in batch, uh, you have to escape uh, special characters, especially when uh, using a uh, web placing them inside the echo command so the way we escape special character is by using the backslash a special character which is another special character I'm going to go ahead and save it print it out again and now I got the right output this short cost me 10 bucks so if I um, if I were to use the echo command and uh, I wanted to print this is a special card and uh, the special card is the backslash I'm going to save it and when I run the script I got an error and the error is because at the end of the string I have a special character and the bash when it reaches this point it really doesn't know what to do with it, so it can't. It kind of uh, sits there waiting for input. Uh, so, what we have to do, we have to actually escape the special character by placing the escape character right before it. Save it, then run it again, and this time we got the intended output. Another type of error people are running to when. Uh, using special character within a string in the echo command is for example if I wanted to surround a word with uh, quotation marks for example hi everyone and I wanted to uh, quote the word everyone and when I try to print that string to the, to the screen I miss, I'm missing the uh, quotation marks are around the word everyone. So this is another example of escaping special characters. In this case, I also need to uh, place a special character, the escape character right before quotation marks. I'm going to save it, try to print it out again. And now I got hi everyone and everyone 
is surrounded by quotation marks. Um, all this can be avoided if you use uh, strong quotes, um, which is The strong quotes is uh, defined by the single quotes, and uh, I'm going to type hi everyone. And close single quotes, save. And as you can see, in this case, I got hi everyone without the need of escaping the special character. So everything that you type within single quotes, uh, the batch interpreters just as it is. The echo command has an option to interpret to interpret additional special character in that is the minus e option, and uh, I can type for example, hi everyone. My name is John. And close quotation mark but if I wanted to separate for example uh, the words between hi and everyone by a tab I can place a tab a tab special character between the two words I'm going to separate also my my and name by inserting a tab in between and at the end of the string I'm going to place a new line a special character I'm going to press escape save it and when I execute it as you can see now there is a tab separating these two words and also these two words and then I get an extra new line right after the string. Uh, echo command by default places a new line, but if uh, um, I, I, I specify a new line character, I get two lines printed out right after the echo command. By default, the echo command prints out a new line right after the, the string. So you can suppress the new line by using the minus n option. Let's change the string. Let's type um, let's type what you said and then quotation marks I'd say Hi. Close quotation mark and remember we need to escape the special characters. Escape, save it. And now the uh, the string, if you notice, the last string doesn't have a new character printed out right after the string. So I get the prompt right after the uh, the what you said hi, I said hi text. Um, this is useful in case you wanted to uh, get input from the user. It's uh, one of the uh, useful uh, the usefulness of suppressing the uh, the uh, new line character right after the string. For example, if I were to type um, echo, what is your name? Or enter your name. And then I use the read command to get that input and place it inside a variable. I'm going to call the variable username. And then later I'm going to echo that name within a string or do something else with the uh, with the variable. In this case I'm going to type hi 
you enter them username remember I, the way it looks like this is because I didn't place a new character a new uh, line right after this string right here so I'm going to enter the name and then I get printed out how you enter John so that's it for uh, this tutorial I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, see you in the next tutorial